Hello everyone. A very good evening to all. I hope you all are fine and preparing well for your examination. Welcome back to the another session of answer writing in which we take one important question and discuss the question thoroughly. I hope my previous videos really helped you out. That is why I thought of introducing this question this week to all of you. All right. But before we start, those of who do not know me, my name is Parul. I take management for both RBI and SEBI examinations. All right. Before I talk about the question, I have something to say. And what is that? I'm going to start today's session with a story. Yes. You heard me write a story and then we will move forward with the question which we have today. All right. So there was a couple who used to live in one of the uh, colonies and every day the wife used to come with a newspaper and a cup of tea for her husband. newspaper And what is that? She used to say, hey, जो सामने हमारे नेबर्स रहते हैं, their clothes are always very dirty. I do not understand the fact why these people do not clothe, do not wash their clothes properly. They are always very unclean. On which the husband used to be quiet, but he had a smile on his face. But as I said earlier, he chose to say nothing. Next day, she again came with the newspaper in her hand and a cup of tea and she handed over those things to her husband and she again uh, repeat the same things see main aapko kaha tha aaj bhi inke kapde kitne gande hain why these people do not wash clothes properly i do not understand the fact on which husband showed the same behavior he smiled but did not say anything and this process continues for a while on fifth day, the wife again comes with a newspaper and a cup of tea in her hand and she handed over those things to her husband. Now, she was astonished. Why is that so? Because the neighbor's clothes now were super clean and tidy and she was very happy. On which she told to her husband, See, un meri baati na kahi na kahi un tak pahunch gai hai. That is why these people cleaned their clothes properly today. On which her husband again smiled, but he say something this time. Their clothes were never dirty. It was our window. I'm repeating again. Their clothes were never dirty. It was our window. And today I cleaned my window. There was dust on it. And in addition to that, he says one more thing to his wife, you know, sometimes what happens, whatever is going in our personal life and professional life, based on that, we judge other people. Based on that, we judge other people and there are certain biases which are here. It is important to see through things and try to understand the perspective of other person as well. And one important thing, let's not try to judge other people. With this Little story in mind, let me introduce the question of the week to you. And the question, as I said earlier, is from the chapter Perception, which is again one of the most important chapters for your examination. Please never leave. And if you look at the previous questions as well, there are so many objective questions which RBI has asked in the previous year. All right. And we should learn from the history. And that is why I am emphasizing again, please, please do not leave this chapter no matter what. All right. Let us read the question now. The question states, discuss the errors which usually creep in while appraising the performance of employees. So there are certain errors which we have studied in under, under the chapter perception. For instance, halo effects, stereotypings and XYZ. The question is talking about the same errors only. Also suggest measures to avoid these errors. Now this is a critical question, uh, part, part of the question. Generally what happens, usually people know, okay, these are the errors because you are 
अब ये वाला कंसेप्ट वो ही बच्चा बता पाएगा जिन्होंने कंसेप्चुअली अच्छे से मैनेजमेंट को समझा है दैट इज वाई एट आई ऑलवेज रिपीट इन माई ऑल वीडियोज इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू हैव कंसेप्चुअल क्लैरिटी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द वीडियो ऑल राइट आई होप आई मेड माई सेंस क्लियर द क्वेश्चन इज डिवाइडेड इन टू टू पार्ट फर्स्ट वी हैव टू डिस्कस द एरर्स विच जनरली एन एम्प्लॉयर फेसेस वेल ही अप्रेसिस और शी अप्रेसिस द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द एम्प्लॉयज एंड सेकेंड एन इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट वट मेजर्स और वट टिप्स कैन वी गिव इन ऑर्डर टू अवॉइड दोज एरर्स ऑल राइट ओके लेट्स लेट इज स्टार्ट नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज ऑफ टेन मार्क्स ऑल राइट सो टेन मार्क्स इट मीन्स यूल हैव टू राइट अप्रॉक्स फोर फोर हंड्रेड वर्ड्स इन केस द क्वेश्चन वुड हैव अ फिफ्टीन मार्क्स तो हम क्या करते हम सिक्स हंड्रेड मार्क्स का लिखते बट एट द एंड ऑफ द डे इट इट इज द क्वालिटी विच मैटर्स ओवर क्वान्टिटी आई होप यू ऑल अग्री विद मी ओके so let us start the question i hope the uh, answer or, or the on the font size is okay to you all right please do let me know in the comment section below the question starts so first as i always say in my all answer writing video i started my question with a basic introduction i'm so sorry i am saying question i started my answer with a basic introduction and the introduction states i'm reading it for you appraising employee performance is crucial task for managers and organizations to evaluate their workforce effectiveness identify strengths and weaknesses and provide feedback for improvements so in these three lines i have talked about first of all not about the perception not about the perceptions error but how much is it important to evaluate the performance of employees i'm repeating again how much is it important or uh, i i should mold my sentence how performance employees how much performance employees is the appraisal of those performance is important in an organization and these are the some of the benefits why do we do that to identify their strengths and weaknesses so that we can work upon our weaknesses and convert those weaknesses into strengths all right provide feedback to for improvement i hope aap itna to pad chuke hain exams aane wala hai ki aapko pata hona chahiye the importance of feedback both in कम्युनिकेशन एज वेल एज इन द परफॉर्मेंस अप्रेजल अगर आप कुछ काम करे जा रहे करे जा रहे हैं एंड सम वन इज नॉट टेलिंग यू दैट वेदर यू आर डूइंग इट परफेक्टली और नॉट सम वन इज नॉट गिविंग यू एनी सजेशन एंड एनी थिंग तो आपको नहीं पता चलेगा हाउ एम आई परफॉर्मिंग दैट इज वाई फीडबैक प्लेस एन इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल ओके नाउ हाउ एवर दे आर सर्टन एरर्स नाउ मैंने क्या करा एक ट्रिक यूज करी मैंने सोचा कि यार आप बताते हैं कि क्या एरर्स है बिकॉज आई टॉक अबाउट और इस क्वेश्चन में मैंने क्वेश्चन को थोड़ा सा छोटा विद इन वर्ड से लिखा है बिकॉज आई ट्राई टू बी ऑन पॉइंट कुछ मैंने एक्स्ट्रा नहीं लिखा है एंड दैट इज वॉट एग्जाम लुकिंग फॉर इन दंसर ऑल राइट सो दर्टन एरर्स कैन क्रीप ड्यूरिंग द परफॉर्मेंस अप्रेजर एंड दिस कैन अफेक्ट दीज थिंग्स एंड दीज आर द कॉमन एरर्स विच आई टॉकिंग अबाउट नाउ एंड मैंने एक छोटा सा सेंटेंस और लिख दिया जस्ट फॉर द कन्वीनियंस ऑफ दू नो द एग्जामिनर के हाँ भाई अब इसके बाद ना एड्रेस शुरू हो रहे हैं सो हेर दॉमन एड्रेस दैट कैन अकर ड्यूरिंग परफॉर्मेंस अप्रेजर एंड मेजर्स टू अवॉइड दैम नाउ अब होगा क्या जिस बच्चे ने कंसेप्चुअली नहीं पढ़ा है वो क्या करेगा सिर्फ मीनिंग लिख देगा कि हेलो इफेक्ट में ये होता है सीरो टाइप्स में ये होता है सेलेक्टिव परसेप्शन में ये होता है एट्रीब्यूशन में ये होता है फर्स्ट इंप्रेशन में ये होता है बट वो उसको रिलेट नहीं करेगा टॉपिक से एंड उसी पॉइंट पे बच्चे मार्क्स लूज करेंगे फिर आप सोचोगे यार मेरे मार्क्स कहाँ रह गए क्यों मेरा फेस टू नहीं निकल पाया बिकॉज आप ऑन द पॉइंट नहीं थे टू द पॉइंट नहीं थे आपने कुछ भी लिखा ज्यादा लिखा बट आपने टॉपिक से रिलेटेबल नहीं लिखा है तो ये गलती आप नहीं करेंगे ऑल राइट दैट इज वाई वी आर कमिंग एवरी वीक फॉर यू सो फर्स्ट विच इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट प्लीज मार्क दिस स्टार मार्क दिस वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एरर्स विच एन एम्प्लॉयर फेसिस और मे बी एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फेसिस इज हेलो अफेक्ट हेलो अफेक्ट इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वाई स्टार्ट सो बिकॉज हेयर वी जज एन एम्प्लॉय बेस्ड ऑन वन सिंगल फैक्टर आई एम रिपीटिंग अगेन we judge the employee based on one single factor only all right so this is the tendency to let one positive trait or behavior influence overall performance evaluation i'll give an example for the same for instance uh 
there is a teacher who teaches in one of the uh, colleges or maybe in schools and there is a guy who is very social labor and he has a good bond with the teacher. Now because of teacher's personal likeness, he or she will give extra marks to that guy. All right. So the teacher is judging that guy, for instance, the name of the person is X based on the one characteristic only. All right. And that is what we call halo effect. It happens in the organization as well. I have put an example here and the example states an employee's excellent communication skills might overshadow their poor time management skills leading to an inflated appraisal score. So there's an employee who is working in an organization who can speak well but based and based on that one characteristic or attribute only the employer is judging him or her and in a better words evaluating his performance all right and which is not the correct way to do it right so ab maine kya kara hai ek chote chote lines mein bataya hai ki kya kya hum kar sakte hain to avoid those errors so to avoid this maine mention kiya tha ki examiner dekh le ki ha bhai sahi keh rahe hai wo to avoid this manager should evaluate each performance criteria separately and assess employee strengths and weaknesses ob objectively so that is why they are saying ki ek to sabse pehle unko ab separately no uh, analyze karo and again check their strengths and weaknesses sirf ek factor ke basis pe you cannot say that yes isne pure saal acha kaam kiya hai aur isne pure saal acha kaam nahi kiya hai all right let us talk about the second error which is leniency or strictness bias which is my personal favorite let us talk about leniency or strictness bias as the name suggests itself leniency means you are you know uh, what what are you doing to too highly or too harshly you are rating the employees maybe too leniently happily i mean you are uh, ratings uh, everyone you are giving everyone a good score while evaluating their performance or maybe too harshly जैसे स्कूल में स्ट्रिक्ट टीचर्स होते थे या तो वो सबको लीनियंटली मार्क्स दे देते थे या तो उनके मार्क्स को काट देते थे हेयर मैनेजर इज परफॉर्मिंग द ड्यूटी ऑफ टीचर ओनली आप इस तरीके से समझ सकते हैं सो दिस एरर्स अकर्स व्हेन अ मैनेजर रेट्स ऑल एम्प्लॉइज टू हाईली और टू हार्शली रिगार्डलेस ऑफ द एक्चुअल परफॉर्मेंस सो व्हाट द मैनेजर इज डूइंग व्हाट मिस्टेक द मैनेजर इज कमिटिंग हियर मैनेजिंग इज नॉट मैनेजर इज नॉट यू नो uh you know seeing what are they doing actually rather than he or she is judging based on his or her personality which is again not a not an ideal way to evaluate the performance of an employee all right this can result in inflated or deflated appraisal scores that do not reflect the employee's actual performance i would like to take a minute and highlight this important part so what does this mean inflated or deflated inflated means suppose mai uh, as an employee for instance my annual salary is rupees 80000 and i deserve a promotion and increment of rupees 10000 but because of leniency error my boss gave me the promotion of 20, an increment of rupees 20000 and now i am earning rupees 1 lakh per month all right it could go other way as well it could uh, you know rate my performance harshly instead of giving me 10000 he choose to not give me any increment all right and how can we avoid that let us look to avoid this manager should use objective criteria for evaluation it means again the same thing judge all the parameters judge all the performance and projects and everything which an employer employee has done previous year all right and this is very important and calibrate their ratings by comparing employees performance against established benchmarks this is very important aapne padha hai in the chapter what controlling there's a one of the functions of management and the name of the functions is just give me a sec controlling controlling 
एंड इट इज वन ऑफ द स्टेप्स इन कंट्रोलिंग में क्या है कि आप क्या करो अपनी परफॉर्मेंस के लिए पहले एक स्टैंडर्ड सेट कर लो कि यस आई हैव टू परफॉर्म अप टू दिस स्टैंडर्ड ओनली व्हाट इज द स्टैंडर्ड लेट अस टॉक अबाउट इट फॉर इंस्टेंस दिस इज यू मस्ट हैव गाइस यू नो गिविंग द मॉक टेस्ट एज वेल आपने एक स्टैंडर्ड सेट कर लिया आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग हाइपोथेटिकल एग्जांपल फॉर यू पीपल दैट यू विल रिसीव 60 मार्क्स you will get at least 60 marks out of 100 in your mock test all right so this is the standard which you are setting for yourself so if you get 50 marks out of 100 it means you are not meeting the standard and if there's a person who is getting 80 out of 100 in maybe the in in his or her next mock test it means that person is exceeding the standard so standard se match karna hai important hai only then we will be able to find the deviations to aapne ek interesting cheez note kari hogi ki yahan par bhi humne ek aur concept ko jod diya hai that is controlling which shows an examiner ke ha is bacche ko concept clear hai because he or she can able to relate the concepts all right which makes an examiner happy aur wo uske according aapko अच्छे मार्क्स देंगे ऑल राइट आई होप दीज टू एरर्स आर क्लियर टू यू लेट अस मूव फॉरवर्ड टू द नेक्स्ट एरर्स एरर एंड द नेम ऑफ द एरर इज जस्ट गिव मी अ सेक व्हाई इट इज नॉट गोइंग रिसेंसी बायस ऑल राइट या आई होप जस्ट गिव मी अ सेक आई एम ज़ूमिंग इन फॉर यू पीपल लीनेंसी या आई होप द या इट इज क्लियर ऑल राइट लेट अस टॉक अबाउट द रिसेंट रिसेंसी बायस दिस इज आल्सो वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट बायस एंड दिस बायस इज टॉक अबाउट व्हाट लेट अस रीड सो this errors occurs when a manager's evaluation is based on the employee's most recent performance rather than their overall performance the entire entire appraisal period aapko samajh aa gaya hoga here maine likha hai recency error kya hai jo manager hai is judging the performance of the employees based on the recent work which they have done which based on the recent work which they have done do you tell is it a correct way to uh, you know evaluate the performance of an employee not at all maybe usne recently kaam acha kar liya hoga lekin pura saal usne kuch bhi kaam nahi kiya hoga still the manager is ready to give him an increment or maybe the manager is ready to promote him and it will act as a bad impression in front of other employees to unko bhi lagega yaar kya hi karna hai appraisal ke time pe thoda acha kaam kar do bas wohi dekhte hain aur us tuk dekhte nahi hai so that is not how a manager supposed to evaluate the performance of his or her employees all right let us see how can we avoid this particular error please give me a sec i am zooming in for you क्वेश्चन छोटा सा ही लिया है जान पूछ के बिकॉज कुछ भी मैं नहीं लिखना चाहती थी आई वॉन्टेड टू बी टू द पॉइंट ऑल राइट इट इज टॉक अबाउट हाउ कैन बी अवॉइड दिस सो हेयर आई एम राइटिंग मैनेजर शुड कीप ट्रैक ऑफ एम्प्लॉय परफॉर्मेंस थ्रू आउट द ईयर अगेन उसकी जो कमी थी वही मैंने लिख दिया कि नहीं भाई ऐसा मत करो इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू सी हाउ एन एम्प्लॉय हैज परफॉर्म थ्रू आउट द ईयर एंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट ओनली the performance should be evaluated maintain a performance log performance log means there's a diary which generally a manager maintains wherein he writes everything what the subordinates are doing what subordinates are not doing whether they are meeting the deadlines or not so he is like reporting everything with respect to the work which the subordinates are performing i hope i made myself clear to you and provide feedback regularly as i said earlier feedback is paramount it is important to receive and give feedback regularly if you want to improve yourself all right now let us talk about the next error and the name of the error is contrast effect i'm repeating again the name of the error is contrast effect let us talk about that error now so this error occurs when an employee's performance is evaluated in comparison to the other employees rather than against established performance standards yahan par bhi log galat kaam kar rahe hain we all know everyone is different and everyone performs in a unique way for instance if someone can tell me parul you teach finance from next uh, uh, next time onwards 
I will not able to do it because it's it's not like that I cannot do it, but I will take my considerable amount of time to have expertise in finance like I have expertise in management. So you cannot judge two employees based on one single attribute. All right. So this is not an ideal way to evaluate the performance of the employees. This can lead to unfair and inaccurate appraisal scores. All right, I hope you understood till now. Let us see how can we avoid this particular error. And what error are we talking about? We are talking about contrast effort. All right, so to avoid this, managers should focus on evaluating employees performance again again the same thing standard ke basis pe hone chahiye because this is the an ideal way to evaluate the performance rather than in comparison to other employees to unko wo dekhna chahiye na ki ha jo parvat ko task mila tha kya usne wo kiya hai ya nahi kiya hai rather than saying ke in dono ko mila tha isne to kar diya ye nahi kar diye something like that maybe i might have my personal reason that is why i couldn't be able to do it on time and as an employee that it's my responsibility as well to communicate the same thing to my supervisor or maybe my employer all right i hope i made my sense clear i'm saying sense made myself clear now let us talk about the uh, uh, the last error which i have wrote it down for you that is stereotyping bias one of the most 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 important bias and iska sabse acha example aapko pata hai ye certain people say ki agar kisi ki gaadi thoki hai are bhai dekh ladki hogi You know, you might have heard this thing several times. हो सकता है लड़का ही बैठा हो but again we are judging. We have a stereotypes that girls cannot drive safely. All right. So here, this error occurs when a manager's evaluation is influenced by preconceived notions about an employee's gender. अब दिस इज इम्पोर्टेंट सो हम या तो उनको जेंडर के बेसिस पे जज करते हैं For instance, in a society we say man, man cannot try. क्यों भाई उसका मन है तो वो रोएगा ना बैठ के सो वट आर वी डूइंग बेस्ड ऑन अ ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल वी आर जजिंग द पीपल ऑल राइट विच इज नॉट अगेन एन आइडियल वे टू इवालुएट द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द एम्प्लॉयज वी आर जजिंग बेस्ड ऑन जेंडर वी आर जजिंग बेस्ड ऑन रेस एज अदर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स राधर देन देयर एक्चुअल परफॉर्मेंस ऑल राइट फॉर इंस्टेंस देयर इज द स्टेरो टाइप्स दैट अमेरिकन पीपल आर वेरी मटीरियलिस्टिक दे गो फॉर देयर मटीरियल थिंग्स दे इज अनदर स्टेरो टाइप थिंग विच इज दैट जापनीज आर वेरी नेशनलिस्टिक सो दीज आर दम ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ स्टीरो टाइपिंग अगेन एक और चीज है अब देर इज अ पर्सन हु लाइक्स टू ट्रेवल अ लॉट सो एवरी डे हेयर एंड देयर ही यू नो ही गोस to manali then shimla he loves to travel throughout the world ab it does not mean ke kuch log usko us basis pe bhi judge kar sakte again this is not an ideal way to judge the people so to avoid this manager should evaluate employees based on their job performance bhai wo dekho na ki banda kaam kya kar raha hai baaki cheez kyun dekh rahe ho rather than their personal characteristic all right for instance we have african people we have you know uh, you know uh, people from african countries so hum generally un logo ko bhi aisa hi stereotype karte hain again which is not an ideal way and which sh we should be avoided because we are very educated people and we should know how to deal with a person okay at the end jaise ki maine aapko 100 baar kaha hai it is important kisi kisi question mein possible nahi ho raha hai to it's okay aap avoid kar sakte hain but jahan possible ho raha hai koshish kariye to write a good conclusion so that एक अब समराइज वे में बता रहे हैं कि हाँ भाई मैंने जो बातें करी है या मैंने चंद लाइंस में बया कर दी है लेट इस रीड द लाइंस नाउ परफॉर्मेंस अप्रेजर एरर्स कैन नेगेटिवली इम्पैक्ट एम्प्लॉय हो रहा सो इन द इन द इंट्रोडक्शन मैंने बात करी इम्पोर्टेंस की नाउ आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इफ परफॉर्मेंस अप्रेजर हम अच्छे से नहीं करेंगे वट वुड हैपन इन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और राइट वट कैन बी इट्स सिवियर इम्पैक्ट सो फर्स्ट इट कैन यू नो impact employee morale motivation and organizational effectiveness so ab mujhe lagta hai ki yaar mujhe to 10000 ka appraisal milna tha but according because of strictness bias my employer choose not to give me any increment and he is not even promoting me then of course my motivation towards work will go down which will eventually impact the profitability of an organization okay by using objective criteria maintain criteria maintaining a performance log that is the diary which i told you guys 
providing regular feedback is an essential thing and avoiding all the biases which I have talked about. Managers can ensure a fair and effective performance appraisal process that promotes employee development and organizational success. I hope the question which I have just talked about is clear to you. If you have any doubt with respect to this question, please do let me know in the comment section below. I hope my videos are really helping you. We are working very hard, super hard to provide you good quality content. Please let me know in the comment section below what kind of videos do you want with respect to management, of course, so that I can focus on creating those kinds of videos which will help you for your examination. All right. And if you have any suggestions and anything, please feel free to write in the comment section below. We'll Meet you soon. Please notification ke intezaar mein mat baithi. I know notification nahi aaya hai. Thoda late ho raha hai. Lekin aap apni padhai usi josh ke saath karte rahi hai. That is important. Please do not wait for the notification. And I'll take a leave now. I hope the session was helpful. If it was, please do write in the comment section below. I feel very nice when you give the compliment to me. I feel motivated. Right, and I will perform effectively more. So, yeah, see you super soon. Bye, all the very best, and take care. Bye bye.